Hi guys and welcome to this episode of the Just My Opinion podcast. On the Just My Opinion podcast, we react to things happening in the entertainment field and even beyond the entertainment field. And like the title of the podcast goes, Just My Opinion. So feel free to share your opinion in the comments below because all we are saying is just our opinion. And of course, if you like topics like this, feel free to subscribe, hit the notification button, share with a friend to share with a friend. We'll be very grateful. So hi, Ambassador. Hello, people. It's your boy Ambassador again doing this thing. So today we are going to be looking at this um, article from African Rhymes. So um, there's some shocking news so they have to share. So Libyanka X Kamani. So a journalist asks Libyanka why he chose to remix people with two Nigerian artists, Arya Star and Omale, airing their artists up to heat in Cameroon. And Libyanka responds, I contacted Kamani's team. I didn't get any answer. I found it as um as a what m3 press what was that what does that mean towards me and and the manager of area star took the opportunity yeah i think um either it was disrespect they're trying to write or it looks more like the french word mepris mm-hmm. which is still meaning disrespect mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah so i don't know if maybe it was just a typo right? mm-hmm. mepris. Yeah, so I was looking at this. I mean, you know, there's some things you see and you're like, I don't want to believe this is true. I hope this is not true. I hope this is um, one of those things which is just, um, you know, like bloggers looking for something to blog about. Because if this is really true, then this is really sad for our Camoya entertainment scene. It is just, just very sad. What do you think about this, Ambassador? <laughs> Same thing. I wish and I hope it's not true. Although I've seen it written there, but I still wish that maybe, yeah, it, it did not happen. And then maybe, yeah. Because if not, the first thing I'll say is people want to mess up with you. It's, it's crazy. Mm. This is just this kind of things where I'm sure if it ever happened and if it's true, Kamani will sit there and look at all the success this song is having and imagine herself in that place. And even just the boss Libyanka has, mm. we cannot um, undermine the extra boost it will be given to Arya Star's career. Mm-hmm. Because the way Libyanka is moving, yeah, she's almost moving like a global artist who is coming to collaborate in Africa, not yeah. like an African collaborator, an African artist, yeah. Because she's really getting the attention of those really big names. And maybe it's also the fact that she's based in the US that gives her that advantage position. But yeah, it's just a shame. And, and that just goes to say, if it's also true, I always start with if it's also true, and that's just my opinion, that's a, in the sense that Cameroonians, we have that tendency. You reach out with somebody to collaborate on something, and they don't even know who you are. They don't know. So just because you are, you are a little bit polite, I've had that experience mm. with a lot of artists. Yeah, I pull out, you're like, hey, good afternoon. I really like to collaborate with you guys. I'm maybe surely older than that guy. I'm way richer than you. I'm more educated than you. You don't even know me. You're just talking on the phone. And I just, you sound very rude, like, mm. um, uh, talk to my team. Or I don't have time to for this conversation now. Or are you sure you're really serious? And I'm like, you don't know me. Mm-hmm. Why, 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 why start with two? For me, even, I mean, like, I was, I received a call the other day. Just this is an aside, right? Mm-hmm. While I was in some of the next thing, and the guy was like, Are you this, this, this? Uh, the documents you applied for? First instinct, like maybe some of those karma calls, and maybe, yeah, maybe it was. Then I told the guy, like, which structure? He never told me the structure. Mm-hmm. He hung up. I sat and I was like, Wait. In my mind, 80% chance is that this is some karma thing. The other 20% that maybe really it's something which is so I called back. And I still asked, like, yeah, I, I work for various organizations and I do consulting things here and there. So I cannot know because he was like, you don't know where you applied. And I'm like, which structure is calling? Mm-hmm. Normal courtesy demands that when you call, you're like, I'm this, this, that, from yeah. this, this, that, calling you regards to this, that, that. Mm-hmm. So I asked him again. Yeah, so, so I'm still very polite. Good afternoon, sir. I don't know which structure you are calling from. Are you trying to work with this organization? What is it? Because my mind is like, 
get 80 percent you think but you don't want to also lose that chance of the 20 percent that maybe it's really something and an opportunity somewhere mm -hmm. so once i called the second time i he, he kept on dodging the whole structure thing so when i realized that um he was like evading the question of uh, which structure and then he was also using a lot of what i call um fame and tactics which many false um, fake pastors, native doctors, and fake men use, which is usually the bounce of what you see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So he can just be saying, I've seen the prophecy, you are going to be sick. I are like, yeah, I was really even feeling down because my mother was sick. Say, yes, your mother was sick. I saw that your mother was sick. So whatever you say, he picks it up and then makes as his expansion. He's, he's never the one who brought it up first. Mm -hmm. So he, he used about two of those kind of things. I said something about, is the he picked up the thing of contrary and this is something about that he, he knows what I'm talking about. Mm. Then I was just like, I was just like, yes, but what structure are you calling from? So I went back and just stood on that structure line and stopped trying to get mm -hmm. anything from him. Up again, and I was like, okay, yeah, don't. So, just that's an aside. I mean, like, Cameroonian artists, your management teams, and some of you put the worst people as your managers. Mm. Now, you know she's rude, mm. you know she's rude, mm. and she's playing with your money. Now, yeah, like, money might be just some friend who she just put her number that she's my manager. Exactly. I have messed up millions for this girl. Mm -hmm. We play with those things, but that one, that first engagement, that first call. Is very critical and what determines if today is a whole buzz in Cameroon about who is a millionaire and who is not a millionaire. There's bad attitude like this that stop from becoming millionaires if mm -hmm. at all they can be. Mm -hmm. So we play with some of these things, but for me, it, it is crazy. How will you forgive yourself if you blow up this kind? And these things come once in the land. And I hope make it sound like Cameroonians don't support you. No, we support you, but your bad attitude does not support you. Mm -hmm. As that's the problem, it's not they're not supporting their own. As I'm saying all of this on the premise of if, if this is true, mm -hmm. because I still don't want to believe it. It's crazy to imagine that Libyanka, yeah, it looked like she was upcoming at the time. But I could see the trend. Everybody could see like this song was going. Mm -hmm. And you decide to ignore it at the time you are who you think you are. You have one or two. I don't know what to say, but some of these things just even annoy me even more because it's just like it might not even become any, it might be somebody on the in between and who does not even know what the whole thing is all about and yeah. has no stake in it but now they've just messed up a lot of things for a lot of people technically mm -hmm. so that's what I'm yeah it definitely i'm still on that point of i i don't want to believe it but if it's true i, I would say if it's also true i will not be very surprised if it's true i'll not be very surprised mind of the fact that situations like this have happened before and um but yeah i mean I don't know what to say about um, about the hope of the Cameroon entertainment scene if this is true. If somebody like Ariasta takes up this chance and then Kamani Wu is relatively. All I can say is that it's sweet. Asuka. <laughs> it's not... yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, let's talk about our sponsors, Echo.online. Yes, so as usual, I'm going to talk about the money. When it's all said and done, we need to make those millionaires in this industry, right? So, Echo Online is here to put money in the artist's pocket. Um, it's here to democratize the playing field. That is, as an independent artist, you can have some of the means, or should I call it um, facilities, which signed artists have. So, first step is to build the profile of Echo Online, share it on your social media handles, get your fans to follow you, build a community. Don't build a community on Facebook where you can only like and comment. Build a community where you can directly transfer to cash. Echo Online is well adapted for that purpose to get your followers to convert their love for you to cash, put their money where their mouth is. It's adapted to local payment methods like mobile money and all of those other things. So it's very easy for your fans to support you by streaming your music, buying your music, buying merchandise from you, buying um, tickets for events that you're organizing or you're part of. Now, all of these things, which is a typical model of a 360 deal. But at this time, the 360 deal is in your hand. As much as you put it, that's how much you can get. And you can pull out your money directly from your phone, mobile money account. You don't need to have an account or anything like that. Bank account, all of those things that become complicated by artists. Usually, I tell artists, jump on is early. Some of these things are still under construction. If you have a song online, share the link in our comment section. Can. So. 
Okay, guys, thank you for tuning in to this episode of Just My Opinion Podcast. As usual, we always want to hear from you. So drop your comments in the comment section below. Thumbs up to this video. If you do enjoy our content, share with a friend to share with a friend. And see you guys next time. Bye, guys.